Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, give me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure. She has been confident. And that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. Well, when you're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her wake tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she's, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Catlin Benamino Vieira. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion of the world, Kayla Harrison. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you. No grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. That's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Oh, nice inside kick. Beautiful job getting those hands up. All right, so one minute into this fight and not much to dissect in terms of action. You may need to go use the restroom. You I might mean, have a good time. Good time, good time. Concession break. I'll be back with a hot dog. Oh, huge kick. Punch over the top. Just over three minutes to go. Straight one plan. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. 
beautiful combination. Oh, with authority, the body. Trying to establish that jab once again. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Come on, let's go. Let's work. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yep. Nice jab by Vieta. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Good jab. Really nice job blocking that shot. Just misses with a left hook there. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Round two is next. Relaxing move. Nice work, but we can do better. You're forcing your leg kicks. When you do that, there's no power, there's no accuracy. All right, five minutes in the books as we take a look at the replays from that previous round. She can punch with anybody in this division. Yeah, with the best in this division and the best in any sport. She's a fantastic boxer, and you can see it in the amount of punches that she landed in that previous round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high-level action continues. Both women had their moments in that previous round. Now we'll see if there's more aggression, and we'll see if one fighter can really take control. And now Leather being thrown on the floor. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing it. Great punch, that is useful. Oh, nice elbow. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Right on the button. Inside leg kick is there. Ooh, big shot land. Vieta gets tattooed by that stiff jab. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Clean punch. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Under a minute to go. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. 
Pretty good jab there by Vieta. And she misses with the left punch there. Lord, you gotta be first. You gotta attack her first. Final seconds of the round. All right, great round it was. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, a lot for the replay guys to choose from. But, John, it's going to be mostly kicks. Right. She landed them over and over again, found her target, locked in on it, and drove her shin right through her opponent's body. That was a great display of kicking in the UFC. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Watch that last round, another pretty good frame for both fighters. We'll see which woman makes the requisite adjustments here in this next round. Somebody has to really get out ahead. It's too worrisome going to the judges when you know you've been involved in such a competitive fight. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Vieta has got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You got to think that body investment is going to pay dividends later. Just out of the range with that right hand. Sniff that one out as she blocks the kick. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having will not be easy, but she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on it. Nice loop and punch. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets longer. Hands up, boy, come on. Man, her jab is good. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, my goodness. Under two minutes now to go. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, huge left. Big head kick. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there and you land something and you may think, wow, that was hard. Your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up on them, you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now. And now she can start to capitalize on that. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, she is as relentless as any striker on this roster, man or woman, eternally aggressive with her strikes. Got to be careful, of course, not to gas out, but so far, so good for her here in this round. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, take a seat. Relaxa, respira. Look, you're being overly aggressive right now, okay? You're being way too hyper on this fight. I need you to calm down. All right, so what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. We have arrived at the fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five is now underway, and now is the time, DC, where the endurance, the cardio, and the overall skills of these women figures to be tested. Yes, both of them will be tested on the skill level, but also the mental level, the emotional level. It takes a lot to get through round four and five, and both of these women are going to have to ace the test if they want to get their hand raised at the end of the night. Well, she seems to be moving okay, but her calf has started to show some real damage. But well, you can tell, every time she gets hit in that spot, you see a big reaction. She's got to do something different. Work, work, come on. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Vieta. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Three minutes now to go in this one. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. Able to check that kick as well. Good kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Try to establish that jab. Well, then. Oh, you can never know what you're going to see from this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots. Oh. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rock pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have finished the fight. Under a minute now to go. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Outstanding kick there by Vieta. Big punches. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. <laughs> 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and what a round it was for her. We talked about her power off the top of the show, and she certainly put it on full display there. Power is what identifies her. She got her hands going, was able to land a big shot, got the knockdown, didn't get the finish. But if she's patient, sets everything up again, maybe she'll find the finish in this round. Caution, flammable. That horn signifies the end of the round, and quite frankly, after that knockdown with the head kick, I didn't think we'd get here. It's a merciful horn. We're happy to hear the horn because she was getting brutalized. She was getting beat up to the body, but the big moment was when her opponent took the kick high and knocked her down. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Great job by her landing that nice kick. Caught that kick there. What a kick! Nice high guard. Shows great defense there. Well, she tried to invoke a poker face as best she could, but after one of those leg kicks, she had no choice but to limp, and now the movement has been compromised. Yeah, she's compromised. She can barely move. And if she showed you that, it tells you that she's really, really hurt. She does not want to show that she's hurt from any of these strikes. But to just be that open with the limping, it tells you she's hurt very bad. Oh, big head kick lands. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Nice punch by Vieta. 
Well, confidence has never been an issue for her, but I'm not sure she's ever been this confident after getting that huge knockdown in the previous well, round. Well, she should be confident. She was landing everything, and then she finally got that knockdown. Oh, she is wobbled now. All right, I'm gonna put you in this fighter's shoes, okay? She is clearly losing this fight. Time is not her friend right now. Are you going for the finish or what? I am biting down on the mouthpiece, and I am swinging from the hip. Something has to land so that she can win this fight. Well, her reactions are really starting to change now as her opponent continues to pepper the body. They're big. You can see that she's almost panicking. She doesn't want to get hit anymore. You can see the damage that she has taken to the body. So she's overcompensating for trying to defend herself. She better slow down and try to change the way that this fight's playing out. Great block. Vieta gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought. Somewhere there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. So the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50 46, 50 47, and 50 46 for the winner by unanimous decision. And new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Catland Fenomeno Vieira! So, Catland Vieira, your winner here tonight, and you start to wonder on the strength of this performance, is the ceiling for Vieira a UFC women's bantamweight title? She put all the skills together here tonight, and you gotta think, given the strength of this performance, the rest of the division will have no choice but to take notice.